<laughs> maybe he won't. All right. <laughs> It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am here with my annual championship game pick video. This year, we have a slightly different panel than we had last year. Dave Mazzini is back. My brother, Jim, is back. And as an added bonus, we have my cousin, Matt Wallace, as one of our panelists. And... Uh, we are hoping that maybe Chris Dufour will join us at some point later on in the telecast. But if he doesn't, he doesn't. We've got the panel here. Um, and we can discuss these games with just these uh, us four guys. So um, to start it off, I think what we will do is, for obvious reasons, we're going to say... Great. We're going to save the NFC game for a second, and we will discuss the AFC first. So, um, who wants to go first uh, with their pick of the uh, the the AFC champion? No one's chomping at the bit. <laughs> All right, Dave, why don't you take the lead on that? I'm going to take the Bengals. I love Joe Burrow. Um, I actually really like their defense. The defense coordinator is great. I mean, they have a couple of like Hendrickson's a big name. Bates is good in the back. I'm sorry, my dog is barking. Um, but that Mahomes injury, I obviously wouldn't be surprised if the Chiefs won because it's hard to beat a team four times in a row. Yeah. But I just got to favor the Bengals, and I'm a little bit biased because I just love Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. So I followed him in college. So. That's my pick. All right. Matt, what do you think about the AFC championship? Uh, I said the same thing that uh, with Mahomes being hurt, um, any of the other teams left have really, really good defenses. And uh, with him not being mobile, I just think uh, Cincinnati is going to win that game. I mean, he, had, he he does his best work when he's on the run, so – when he's throwing in between his legs and behind his back and stuff, so. <laughs> yeah. Jim, what do you think? What do you got? Uh, I have the Bengals in this one. Do you? I, I, I think Mahomes' is, you know, injury will, will play a role. Like, yeah. like, uh, like Matt said, if Mahomes isn't mobile, he's just an average quarterback. Right, um, and I, I don't know that they. I mean, I, I don't know that they can lay the offense on Pacheco's shoulders and and, and beat that Bengals team. So you know, Burrow Burrow seems to have the magic right now too in the AFC. He's yeah. got it going on. So. Um, He's got a lot of weapons. He's got good running backs. He's got good wide receivers. The offensive line is one of the best in the league. Um, yeah, they're injured so, though. No Bengals. The Bengals were the line was injured, but they did, I think that helped their running game actually. Yeah, they had five of their five of their starters were out. I guess they said. Yeah. Well, they led the league in sacks allowed last year, so I yeah. Mean, <laughs> Injuring those guys might not have been such a bad thing. Well, no, they brought in they brought in. Uh, well, I can't. I know they brought in Leal Collins from Dallas. They brought in up like three new guys, but all those guys got injured. But I don't. I forgot who was announced in the game. But they brought up. I think I don't know. Was it Olson? Made up a great point. Is like backup linemen are still obviously really good, and they're better at, just because of their sheer size. If they're better run blockers usually, so the Bengals' running game was struggling. And that might have favored them because Mixon had a great game, P. Ryan had a great game, and Burrow did a lot. He was really nimble in the pocket too. So, and that killed the Bills, their ability to run. So I don't know if the Chiefs can run on the on the Bengals. Uh, Pacheco and McKinnon are really good, but they don't have like a bruiser back or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, last year, I believe I took the Chiefs to win this very same matchup in the AFC Championship game. But this year, I am going to go with the Bengals because they looked, I mean, they 
really looked very dominant against the Bills. And you do have Mahomes with the high ankle sprain. I think that's going to limit his ability, and they're going to have to uh, design a different, a slightly different game plan, you would think, around the fact that he w won't have the mobility that he's used to having. Um, and the injuries to the offensive line for the uh, Bengals, it didn't seem to really affect them against the Bills, so we'll see if they can keep working around it, but it looks like, you know, because they did a lot of quick passes, a lot of quick outlet passes, and then ran the ball and they didn't have a problem. So, uh, and, and the Bengals are hot. So I think definitely I would go with the Bengals in that matchup to uh, beat Kansas City and go to the Super Bowl for the second consecutive year. Four for four Bengals? I don't know. Now it's definitely not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it, Bob. You were supposed to pick the Chiefs. No, no I can't do it. I just couldn't do it. Well, well, it's on your shoulders. <laughs> I, I just think with that high ankle sprain, that, that's not something that goes away in a week. <laughs> right. Right. No. I, mean, no. I mean, he was – you could see him struggling. And he, if he played any other defense Sunday, he was done. So, but – And Joe Burrow just doesn't – I don't think he experiences anxiety or pressure. He, like he's just – It doesn't seem like it. it. He's different. He's like unbothered. I mean, last year, what did the Titans sack him like eleven times in a playoff yeah. game, and they still like it didn't bother you. Just <laughs> you just keep getting. I didn't bother him. So, and that's what sets him apart. Until he gets a little older, then it'll start bothering him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true. True. All these young guys, you can see them. They're all. They just don't care, but they eventually they take a big hit. He has a good presence in the same way. All right. Well, let's move on to the National League Championship game, which will be the San Francisco 49ers visiting the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, we'll let the uh, resident Philadelphia resident down there lead off with that. And, Jim, what do you think about the uh, about this game? Uh, the resident Philadelphia resident. Well, uh, your <laughs> resident Philadelphia guy, I don't know. And Bob's got baseball on his mind because he's, he's yeah. called the National League. He's ready for – he's like in stratomatic mode. So I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the resident Philadelphia guy says Scott Rowland made the Hall of Fame. Scott Rowland. Wow. <laughs> Scott Rowland. Yeah, modern day. How about this class? Scott Rowland and Fred McGriff. The crime dog. <laughs> I'm just Scott throwing Rowland. that out there. It's, it's January. We got to talk some baseball. But uh, I will, uh, in this game, I will uh, actually take San Francisco. Although I think it's going to be a very low scoring game. I think both defenses are really good. Um. The one X factor that could do in San Francisco is if the moment gets to Brock Purdy. If if Purdy can't handle it, the Niners will be in trouble. Um, and I think uh, Riddick for the uh, Eagles is and, – and that whole defensive front four, the Eagles are going to put some pressure on him. So – with those, with those guys pressuring Purdy, if he can't handle it, then um, then I think uh, San Francisco's in trouble. But I do like the way San Francisco uses uh, number 19 there. And I think that th they'll have a short enough passing game that they can get to the oh, thing. Here they go with the quarterback. Well, there here he comes. is. He's Already? Yeah. He barged in like Kramer. <laughs> he did, too. <laughs> <laughs> All What's up? Where is he? Yeah, we can't see you. Can you hear me? I can, I hear, can you. hear you. All right, He's get in. ready. He's in the He's ether. <laughs> there he is. All right. So All right, we, we just did our picks for the AFC championship game. So 
And we were just starting the NFC game. So let's get your picks on the AFC championship. Should I ask uh, Stacy to step in here and make the pick for me? Yes. You want to make an appearance on a Zoom meeting? No. You sure? I'm sure. Hi, you... Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Jimmy's on here, too. Hi, Jim. Hello. And Maz. You know Maz? Have you met the Maz? Dave Mazzini? Yeah. Yeah. Long time ago. Probably at the wedding. Someone named Liz is on here, too. Hi. I think his name is Matt, though. Yeah, it's my it's my daughter's computer. So Liz, I like it. It sounds it's a little bit more like Madonna. Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> so who did uh, who did all everybody pick? Run me down, Bobby last because I got to brace myself. Bengals. It was a sweep for the Bengals. No way. You got to go. Is everyone though. concerned about Mahomes' ankle? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. And, I'm wow, just okay. I just love Joe Burrow. Yeah, I, I'm going to pick the Bengals too. Oh, jeez. More, more because I like uh, Joe Burrow. I think Joe Burrow is uh, – until somebody in the AFC named Mahomes or Allen can prove they can beat him, I'm going to go with him. So All right. I'm rolling with the Bengals. Do I have to pick a score? No, you don't, have to, you don't have to pick a score. Okay. All Let's right. Go, well, we also got um, Jim's input on the National um, Conference Championship game, and he is – Going with um, the 49ers. Is it the 49ers that you picked? Yes. Yeah. He's a little confused, Duke, because I also gave him my rundown of the uh, Major League Baseball uh, Hall of Fame. Uh, so oh, did I miss that discussion? Because you know that's a whole separate program for me. Yes, <laughs> yeah. it is a whole separate program, and it's not really going to be discussed in this program. <laughs> FC Championship game. FC Cha Why do I have to go, though? Let Maz go. He's so smart. All right. Him. All right, we'll we'll kick it to Maz there. This is a tough a tough game because like historically, I, I I hate both these teams, even though I grew up loving Jerry Rice. Um, but I feel like Dallas kind of had the formula. They just have terrible coaches. Defense played great. I think McCaffrey had seventeen yards in the first half. I don't and think they Dallas is playing in this game though. I know, but they can take. They they kind of had the formula. They got and Philly's defense. You know, I had seventy sacks this year. Um. I feel like Purdy will be just fine, but I mean, he kind of he could make some mistakes. I want to pick the Niners, but I'm I feel like it, I'm going to pick the Eagles though, just because their defense is so stout up front. They got two great corners, um, and if they can contain McCaffrey and kind of limit Samuels, I think I think they can upset. Well, I guess I, I kind of would call it an upset just because the uh, Eagles are young. And the Niners have been here, but I'm going to lean towards the Eagles. But it's I, I hate making that pick because I despise the Eagles. So, so to recap, that's the two picks. Dave is going against, or, or is picking for his arch enemy, and so am I. Perfect. One All right, the, Jim's picking the Niners. Dave's well, picking no, that, I hate the Eagles more than the Niners because because. I mean, I like a lot. I like Debo, and I like I like Brock Purdy. I, I wish he was on my team. The guy's played seven games and you know. cool as cool as hell. But I just feel like uh, the Eagles got a ton of weapons, and not that the Giants were juggernauts, but they. I mean, that was embarrassing. Um, so I, I slight edge to the Eagles. All right, I am going to also go with the Eagles in this one. Both teams have great defenses, but I think that the Eagles have a little bit more explosive offense than the uh, than the 49ers do. And you, even though Purdy has looked really good for a rookie in his first year and the last pick of the draft, he actually um, is uh, very, very cool under pressure. But you got to remember, he is a first-year player and uh, prone to possible mistakes in, in the biggest game of his life to this point. So I am going to go slight edge also to Philadelphia. And Doof, what do you got? Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go with the Eagles as well. I think uh, two reasons. Because my heart, first of all, most importantly, my heart wants 49ers Bengals part three because I'm just, you know me, I'm a historian, and that's what I like. The first 49ers Bengals was... One of the 
I was so excited that year. And then the second 49ers Bengals was the John Candy drive for the Niners. The stone to win. Pillar named Dan Buns. Yes, Dan Buns. Buns. Benz. Was Dan it Buns? Buns? It was Buns, I think. Yeah. yeah. Dan Benz was a kid who worked for me. Sorry. Uh, yeah. But uh, I honestly think watching Brock Purdy the last two weeks, that maybe on the road in a hostile situation, especially if they fall behind. I, th I think the Eagles can rattle them a little bit. I think maybe the pumpkin turns half half pumpkin, half Brock Purdy. You know, he didn't have a good first half against whoever it was in Tampa. You know, and he came out strong. Seattle, Seattle, did I get it wrong? Wasn't Tampa? Yeah. It was Seattle. <laughs> no, he destroyed Tampa when he played him. Yeah, yeah. That was the last weekend of the season, I think, right? Regular season, right. So, yeah, so Seattle. And then, uh, you know, in the first half against uh, – that game we just watched against Dave's Cowboys. I didn't think he was anything special. But one thing that worries me that kind of what Dave said was, you know, they can stop Samuel and they can stop McCaffrey. That still leaves Kittle. And that guy's magic. So even if you've, you got to pick your poison because I don't think you're going to be able to stop all three. But if they can put uh, a lot of pressure on Purdy, I remember in early in a lot of the Brady's early playoff appearances, especially the deeper they went, you know, more teams were trying to rile him and getting pressure on him. Now he, of course, uh, won anyway, and the Patriots won anyway. It was a team effort, I'm sure. But I just think that the Eagles at home in that atmosphere, uh, I think I think they might be able to rattle Brock Purdy a little bit. So that's my only reason for going with the Eagles. I think the teams are pretty even. The defenses are pre both pretty good. But I think if the Eagles can uh, put pressure on Brock, uh, that they're going to emerge victorious, maybe by three or six points, something in that range. All right. 24, well, 21, 27, 21, maybe. With that, we're going to kick it to our resident San Francisco this. fan, Matt Wallace. Oh, Matt Wallace, sorry. Yes. Uh, I am, I'm going to pick the Niners just because I'm a fan and uh, – I would love to see them in the Super Bowl again. Uh, the last two times they got there, they should have won both games. Um, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Philly st uh, stings them. Um, their Achilles heel all year has been their pass defense, uh, the Niners, um, especially the deep balls. Uh, Javarius Ward was supposed to be a really good corner, shutdown corner, and I think he's gotten burned in both games so far. Um, but I think Philly, with having a mobile quarterback and those two receivers that they have, um, I think will hurt the Niners, but I'm hoping they win. Um, I'm going to pick them to win, but I would not be surprised Philly wins, and it's going to be a close one. Um, the only thing that Philly can't do defensively, they don't, they don't, the run defense isn't great. Um, so hopefully McCaffrey can go nuts again. <laughs> he didn't do much against Dallas, but when you got Dak Prescott, you don't have to worry about uh, anything else because he'll screw it up for you eventually. <laughs> so I think Liz brings up a really good point, though, in that if uh, Jalen Hurts can get outside the pocket and kind of force the linebackers to come up or maybe freeze the corners or, the, or freeze the safeties. Yeah. That might, uh, you know, that kind of play can often lead to uh, a deep pass where a guy's wide open just standing there. And and uh, he's and Hertz is able to do that. So I think that's a really good point to watch for. If, yeah. if, if he's able to get outside the pocket and can, and kind of freeze them a little bit, that's going to be a, a big weapon for the Eagles like, in this game. And Matt, good luck to your Niners, man. Since you're the only yeah. guy on here with a team in the in the fight, <laughs> I picked the Niners Bengals. I gotta tell you, I picked the Eagles, but I'll root.